Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword. Here we are at the Master Dojo on the Isle of Armor. Last time, we actually uh, took on the uh, tournament in uh, Winden once again, and our Kubfu became a champion of Galar as well. In the final round, we actually took on uh, our rival Hop here as well. This time, we are going to... Uh, We're gonna go spend some watts, because we're gonna help out the dojo here. Hello, Eric, what can I help you with, love? Alright, let's share some watts. Alright, let's... We have a bunch of watts now, so let's give 100,000 watts here. Well, Eric, you've given us 500,000 watts so far. And since we've got 500,000 watts now, I think we can finally negotiate to get the do and the master dojo added as a lead card background. Him? Hello? Hello, is this the Pokemon League? Honey here from the Master Dojo. I've got a plan that I think will benefit the both of us, if you might be interested. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. Hehe, <laughs> it went all it all went smoothly. No, it went smoothly. And I got everything settled. So we now we can now choose the Master Dojo as one of our backgrounds of the League card. Update your League card anytime from our very own Rotome. So we can use the Rotom is Rotom I or Rotom Me? I was going to say Rotom Eye. Cool. Hello, Eric. What can I help you with, love? Let's share some watts. What can we part with? Let's let's give... Let's give 500,000. Sure. You'll give us 500,000 watts? Well, Eric, you've given us a million watts so far. And now we've blown past 80, 800,000 watts. I'm going to show you a real work of art. Oh, hello, is this the Pokemon League? It's me again. Yes, yeah, me, honey. There's actually something really special I'd like your help putting together. Oh, you no, don't tease. No, I swear it's not like that, hee <laughs> hee. And here we go, fresh off the presses. We got Honey's League card. We'll spread these League cards far and wide to help promote the dojo. That was my initial plan anyway. But they caught us in such a random moment, didn't they? I think we'd better just keep this a personal keepsake and not spread it about too much. Maybe our next batch of Watts can go towards something a bit more battle-focused, mm-hmm. You've flown past a million Watts! To celebrate, I'm gonna give you the chance to battle the strongest of trainers. Oh? Hello? Is this my favorite Pokemon League? That's right, it's Honey. <laughs> Did you recognize my voice, you sweet thing? Well, I was just calling today to see if I could ask you a teeny tiny favor. Well, that was a shame. I had them reach out to the other region's champions to ask about a battle, but I guess Galar is just a bit too far to come for a friendly pickup match. Those poor poopers. Those poor party poopers. Well, if that's the way they're gonna be, I'll simply have to let you battle another top trainer. When you're ready to take on the challenge, just say the word and let me know. Oh? Alright, let's do it. Hello, Eric. What can I help you with, love? I'm ready to battle. Are you ready to take on a truly formidable trainer in battle? Sure. Are you really? Well, follow me. Okay. I have prepared a truly challenging battle for you, my dear Eric. And your opponent will be... I'm here to battle. What? You? Aren't you the guy that, like, chickened out from joining the, the Master Dojo or something? Hey, wait, aren't you? You remember me? We met at the train station when you first came to the island. Do you think I might have been standing where you are right now if I'd only had the guts? Cripes, that would have been a disaster. Letting you go to the Master Dojo in my place is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thanks to my cowardice on um, that time, I was able to join an even better dojo than this old place. The Wild Dojo. And as the strongest, wiliest, and wildest trainer the Wild Dojo has got, I'm here to show the fusty old Master Dojo that it's time you all pack up and make way for the new hot um, hotness that's here to replace you. Now, now, let's all just settle down. 
You know this person, Eric? I must say, his manners leave something to be desired. You should pick your friends more wisely. Nobody asked you! Who are you to be judging me? Bring out the strongest trainer you've got, this instant! I'll show you your dojo is done for. Well, this... This wasn't what I'd had in mind, but... I'm sorry, Eric, but... Can I ask you to just wait a bit longer for that battle? Seriously? Disappear already, would you? Would you? I'm not here to beat on somebody's mum. You know, love, you're really being quite the bother here. What? Hey! Wait! No! Stop! Mercy! But, but I'm the strongest person in the wild dojo. How could this lady have destroyed me like this? I couldn't even lift a finger to stop her. You there. Yes, ma'am! You haven't even mastered the basics of understanding how moves work. You sure you don't want to come start over from, the, from scratch at the Master Dojo? Once we tear you down completely, I promise we'll build you back up as a proper trainer. Eek! Uh, this place is nuts! I can't take it! Oh, sugar, I went and did it again. Looks like I've scared off another potential student for the dojo. I've been looking forward to surprising you too, Eric, but that silly sausage plant and ruined everything. But, well, there's no use crying over spilt Moo Moo milk. Oh? So, now you know. The strongest trainer you'll be facing is me. Honey! You think you're ready for me, Eric? I'm about to blow your mind. All right, let's go. We're challenged by Dojo Matron Honey. You know, I haven't even considered the fact that I guess she's a trainer. That is, you gotta spend a million watts to battle her, but that's actually really cool. And she's got a blissy. That's pro. All right now, Eric, let's have some fun. And I'll try not to hurt you. Oh, she's... This is pro, she's got a blissy. Now let's blaze kick. Are you serious? Alright, you know what? That turn just was let's just let's just, you know, call it a wasted turn. Because in Pokemon, if the accuracy isn't a hundred, it's fifty. Alright. <laughs> okay, next up is Darmanitan. Guess we stay in? Blaze kick. You're not getting those gorilla tactics off on me. Not happening. Alright. Our Manitan is down. Next up is Salazzle. Well. I guess Snap is the logical choice. I don't think Score Bunny has anything for Salazzle. All right, snap. Let's do it. Let's snap to it. Let's snap this thing down. Liquidation. Oh. All right. All right. All right. I see you there. I see you there. All right. You do outspeed. So you're going for Dragon Pulse. But we got the AV, so we're good. We are good. You're getting wrecked. Okay, next up is Gallade. He's got a really cool team. Alright, I'm gonna use Birdie because I want the extra money. It's like a secret boss battle. Gotta love it. Alright, let's go for Drill Pack. Alright. We are a bit over leveled, I think, so be fair. Alright, Togekiss. 
Yeah, get in here. Now, I swear, if she like air slash spams us, then honestly, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna respect her more. To be honest, that respect if you go for, if she goes for that, because that it would be hilarious. All right, let's spark. Dazzling Gleam. All right, so you're not going for air slash. I mean, we do resist it. All right. Ooh, and the para. Who's got the Serene Grace now? <laughs> All right. We got this. Sparking it up, taking it down, going up a notch. All right. And Venusaur. Oh! All right, Score Bunny, let's do this. Wait a minute, does she have like the Kanto starter that you didn't choose? That is really cool. Look, if she actually did train it. Ah, the tension that comes down when it comes, the tension when it comes down to the wire. That's what makes it so fun. All right, so I guess she did train it up. All right. This is a Dynamax battle. Let's Dynamax. Let's do it. All right, score bunny, let's do this. Time to play our ace in the hole. Turn gigantic, my dear Venusaur. Ooh. Well then. That is a Gigantamax Venusaur. All right. Is that like a crown on it? In like the bulb? Or is it just supposed to be a giant bulb? I'm not even totally sure. Regardless, we're just one shot in it. All right. That was actually remarkably easy. <laughs> okay, good job, Score Bunny. Taking on like half her team. We defeated Dojo Matron Honey. That was a delight. Nice battling, love. We got 19,200 bucks for winning. No! Fiddlesticks. I didn't think you'd actually be able to beat me, but at least you did get my pulse racing. Thanks for showing me a real great time in that battle. Honestly, my darling hubby would be the first to tell you that he and I are on the same level when it comes to our strength in battle. And yet you beat me, Eric. You really are strong. I'm sure that you're really igniting a new fire in my darling hubby and our other students. I don't mean to ask too much of you, but if I might ask a bit more, Please do carry on as part of the Master Dojo family and help all our family learn and grow. Oh, and I won't let you rest on your laurels for too long, mind. Let's have another great battle soon. <laughs> all right. So with that, we have uh, defeated the Dojo Matron. Let's take a look at her lead card, actually. So, let's see Mustard in the background. Honey is the former CEO of a trading firm. She met Mustard while visiting Galler during one of her many business trips, and it was love at first sight. They were married shortly afterward. She now works as the dojo matron, cooking, cleaning, and advertising and taking care of finances. She also keeps an eye on the mental health of students. What's more, she's also the creator of Max Soup. She used the, for, uh, the forest mushrooms in her soup as a way of, um, to cut costs, and this caused her Pokemon to Gigantamax. Her latest ambition is to sell ready-made Max Soup across the world. Her motto is teamwork. Huh. So, 
trying to sell Max Soup across the world. Are they planning on doing some kind of Dynamax thing in later games? That's interesting. Huh. Well then. Alright, well, what's the next gold post? Oh. What is the next gold post? Well, Eric, you've given us a million watts so far. If you could spend another 2,280,000 watts, Eric, then let's see. Well, there's not much more that I can offer you except maybe a bit of my time. We don't get to, uh, get much time to really talk here at the dojo with so many students around. Would you like to go on a nice quiet walk, just you and me? That's odd. So basically we would be paying for her time. That's something. Definitely something. Well, you know what? While we're here, might as well uh, have some other battles here. Hey, Eric, do you, do you think you could help me out with my training? Sure, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, let's go to the battle court. Sure. Let's do this. Battling trainer Clara. Why not? Not sure there's a whole lot else for us to do, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still working on getting stronger, so don't go laughing if I don't do well. Alright, you got it. I will not laugh at you. Maybe a little bit. You are living, though. Surprised you don't have Earthquake, to be totally honest. Alright, Flame Charge. And get wrecked. Okay. Next up is Scolipede. Literally no reason to play. Okay. You'll have to do more than that to make me lose heart. I'm getting better every day. Oh, great. We're poisoned. Alright, Score Bunny, time for you to get out of here. Next up is Weezing. Alright, Birdie, let's do this. Because that Weezing looks like it wants to take an iron head to the face. Looks like it's asking for an iron head. Ooh, you're protecting. Okay. Okay. You are allowed to protect. Okay. Getting wrecked. Okay, next up is Slowbro. Uh, I guess amps. Amps, the Galar champion. Still not pulling any punches, I see. Now that, not that I care or anything. All right, so we're bringing in the slow bro. All right, I guess we crunch. Max darkness. Let's do this. Cause I know she's gonna Dynamax. Kinda surprised though that they didn't give the uh, that they didn't give Valerian Slowbro a Gigantamax. Because it would have been kinda cool in like the post um the, the post story battle with uh, the rival for her to uh well with for Fire to actually Gigantamax. Alrighty, Slowbro, time to dream bigger and be bigger. It would have been kind of cool if she like, gave it to Max Soup and it just Gigantamax. But whatever. It is what it is. And that is... A Dynamaxed... Valerian Slowbro. Alright. 
take this max darkness to face, you probably will actually use it. Still pretty bulky. <laughs> Alright. And that will lower your spadef, which is so useful for a physical attack. Max Mindstorm. Okay, things are about to get weird. Alright. I don't know why for Psychic Terrain it just says got, get weird. It's just a funny, uh, a funny line of, uh, of dialogue, or not really dialogue, but just, just a funny line. The battlefield got weird. <laughs> All right, but we're taking this thing down. And there we go. Good job, Yamps. Oh come on, what a drag! But. I guess it was also kind of fun. Ooh, as strong as ever, but I think I'm beginning to get it. Hey, thanks for you helping me out. Not a problem. Let us heal. Ooh, can we battle you again? Oh, you can only battle once a day? Alright. Fair enough. Mustard, would you like to battle? Oh dear. I can't see the telly if you're standing there. It's a game in which a lot of Pokemon a lot of square Pokemon appear. That would be Pokemon Quest. Strategy guides for a whole bunch of different games. Oh. Interesting. Hello there. Care to have a little ba have a battle with little old me? Sure. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. Well, there's no time like the present, right? Let's get it started. All right, let's do it. Dojo Master Mustard. Let's do this. He's got Mayan Shell. All right. Before you fake me out, I'm just gonna switch. Battling gifted opponents gets my heart beating no matter how many times I do it. Let's hurry and get the start at time to see who can win some experience points. Ah, oh, well, no one because my Pokemon are all level 100. Alright, Birdie, you can take a fake out better than anyone. Oh, Birdie, the Gower Champion! Alright, let's do this. Yep, there's the fake out. Not surprising. Pick a drill pack. Ooh, okay, you outspeed, you're going for the CC, and... Oh, kind of a pickle. Yes, I feel unyielding power emanating from the Pokemon in that move. All right, cool. You got this. Next up is Luxray. You know what? The one who doesn't stand against one's own weaknesses is the one who just, you know, does nothing. I don't know. We're gonna snap to it. We're facing Electric. Let's go. We're even gonna face Intimidation because, you know, you don't let opponents intimidate you into a submission. All you do is use your... use your unnatural, uh... powers to cause an Earthquake. One does not let... one does not give in to Intimidation and win. Alright, Corviknight. More of a knight. Let's let's score bunny handle it, I guess. We want everyone to get a chance. Alright, no berries today. Alright, that's fine with me. Let's blaze kick. We don't think we one shot, but yeah, we don't one shot. We don't burn. You're gonna light screen. That could be a problem. 
I'm gonna flame charge only because I'm concerned that accuracy. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay, who has not gotten a KO yet? Next up is Lycanroc. You know what, we can energy ball. Or, you know, we can straight up liquidation. I don't really want to go into cream if we have a, uh... I don't want to go into cream if we're, uh, in a scenario where there's a light screen up. Okay. And it's a crit! Now, was that the pinpoint aim or plain luck? Either way, we're gonna keep going. Alright, let's do this. Next up is Como O. Oh. Alright, Yamps, let's do this. Yamps, the Galar Champion. Let's go. Big on Como O. Alright, play rough. Clangor's Soul. Okay, you're gonna get your Omni Boost. Land in the play rough. You are living. I'm gonna spark for the accuracy. I know it's resisted, but stab. Find your scales. We are taking that, and that will lower your defense. So you're getting you're getting wrecked. You're getting wrecked. All for the accuracy. All right, light screen is gone, and next up is Urshifu. Time for the rematch. Cub Fu, let's do this. Cub Fu, the Galar Champion. I'm really up against the wall now, which will make winning all the more satisfying. All right, Cub Fu versus Urshifu. Let's do this. Let's max Knuckle. Flex your gigantic muscles, Urshifu. Let your mighty frame bust through. All right. That is a Gigantamax, Urshifu. All right, Cub Fu. Let's do this. Since last time, you've become a Galar Champion. Let's do this. Alright. Max Ooze. That does not do a whole lot of damage. That raises your special attack. What what are you doing? Mustard, what are you doing? Now I'll give you a hint, what you're not doing is actually going for a real attack. Why are you going for max ooze? That literally doesn't make any sense. Like, I get its coverage for fairies, but... It makes no sense in this case. And victory goes to the Cub Fu! You see, who needs an Urshifu when you can have a Cub Fu? That strength of yours doesn't bend easily. We got 60,000 bucks for winning, and our cup food didn't shrink back down. Huh. Battles with you are always so much fun, Eric. 
and my Pokemon seem happy too. Remember, part of training is knowing that good work requires good rest afterward. We can have another match tomorrow. Well then, on that note, we have uh, defeated Mustard once again. Let me to share one of my recipes with you. It'll cost you 100 watts, that's all. Eh, sure, why not? So if you want TR-37, first you want to add a binding band, then a petcha berry, a muscle feather, and a cherry berry. Interesting. Alright, well you know what, let's combine some items because we've got a bunch of apricorn now, so might as well use them. Use some red apricorn. Alright, let's save. Combining the apricorn. An Ultra Ball. You want to keep going with the same combination, sure. Does it give us the same item or a Great Ball? So it doesn't... Alright, so it re-rolls every time, so just wait on the re-clicking re them. That's convenient. Okay, another Ultra Ball. A Pokeball. Can we get one of the Rare Balls? I'd appreciate that. Another Ultra Ball. Another Pokeball. Come on, Cramomatic. You're just giving me Pokeballs now. Well, I guess we're out of red apricorns. Alright, let's try blue ones. From what I heard, though, it's like the rare Pokeballs are behind like a 1%, um, some kind of like 1% uh, spawn rate or something. Dive ball. At least we're getting some more interesting Pokeballs with the blue ones. Not exactly the Kurt ones, but hey, you know. Take what I can get. I do have some pretty bad luck with uh, with item spawning and whatnot. <laughs> All right. Let us keep on going until we do it. I mean, if it happens 1% of the time, statistically speaking, eventually we should at least find one. Alright. Okay. Let's try with the yellow ones. An Ultra Ball. I mean, at least we don't have to buy Pokeballs anytime soon. That's a that's a plus. Quick Ball, nice. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I Quick Balls are one of my favorite types of Pokeballs. So, I mean, I'll be happy to just get a bunch of these, even though we can buy them. Which I guess makes it a little sadder, cause you know we're getting the stuff we can actually buy. Would have been nice if they made a way to get the uh, stuff from the cram. Well, the these balls from the cramomatic a little more likely. The more rare things that is. I don't know why they would do it like this. Make a big deal about apricorn, and then make it so you can only get something special from them like one percent of the time. Another great ball. Quick ball. Alright. Huh? 
Come on. Give me something cool. A great ball. I feel like we're not getting anything cool today. We're just gonna keep getting regular Pokeballs. But hey, you know. Tell me in the comments if you think we're, uh, right now, if you think we're gonna get one within the next uh, however many Apricorn we still have. Obviously, I don't wait until the end to post that. <laughs> Alright. We're getting a Pokeball. Ultra Ball. They make it, like, impossible to get the special Pokeballs, and then they make you save ahead of, like, every time you use it, just because, I guess, so you can't cheat and re- I guess get, like, a thousand of the Apricorn, and then save to do it. Yeah, we're getting nothing from these. Getting a Nest Ball, that's... At least not a Pokeball. Uh, plain Pokeball, at least. I spoke too too soon. All right, Rotic Green Apricorn. Moving on to the White Apricorn. Okay. I just get a bad feeling we're not getting anything. Premier Ball. Well, hey, at least that's something different. Probably because it's white. Oh, another Premier Ball. Hey, you know what? I'll take free Premier Balls, so. Well, you know what? There's like a 63% chance if we did like a hundred of these, like a 63% chance we get at least one special Pokeball. Granted, that means you'd have to do a hundred of these only for a 63% chance of getting one within that time, within those. That's pretty bad. <laughs> so even after a hundred, you're nowhere near guaranteed a special Pokeball. Hammer ball. Well, like I said, I, I at least rather get something, get a special Pokeball that we can buy that's, you know, costs more than just a Pokeball. But we're gonna be out of Apricorn soon. I can already tell. And we're just getting Premier Balls, Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, Great Balls, and Timer Balls. I'm trying to think what kind of ball Kurt uses the white Apricorn for. I think it's like a fast ball. Oh! What? We got five Great Balls. That's odd. We're getting five items when we put four in the machine. That's... Is that like a rare thing or something? I mean, I would think it would be. Did we just skip over pink? Alright, I want to say this is for the love ball. Okay, let's see. Pokeball! So, yeah, this is pretty much how our luck is probably gonna go. I'm assuming. Great ball! Ultra Ball. Well, I mean, we're working our way up. Come on, Cramomatic. Heal Ball. Well, at least it's something different.
Another Ultra Ball. Well, saving us money at least. Another Heal Ball. Once again, I guess the type of the special type of Pokeball is dependent on the color. And I guess they try to map uh, to, to map the uh, the type of apricorn to the type of ball you get. With the exception of normal Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls, I guess you can get from anything. Alright, Heal Ball. What must be nice is if you get if you manage to get like ten if you if you get like five of the uh, special Pokeballs. <laughs> of course, the likelihood of that just seems astronomically low. All right, we don't have a whole lot of Black Apricorns, so we're probably not getting a special Pokeball from this one. So. But you know what? At least we got the five. That was that was cool. Kind of sad that they made it very, uh, how shall I say, uh, difficult to get a special Pokeball. <laughs> and by difficult, I mean it's not that it's it takes skill or anything. It's just you got to be really lucky. I don't know. Have any of you actually gotten a special, uh, one of, like, the Kurt Pokeballs from the Kramomatic? If you have, awesome. Cool. Tell me about it in the, uh, the comments. Because I'm starting to think I'm never gonna see one of those. We're just getting Pokeballs from these black ones. Let us see. Great ball. Great. Alright, I think we're officially out of uh, these. Can you, like, mix them to get... Um... See if we mix it. See if we get anything in particular. Somehow, I doubt we're gonna get something with this- or get something special with this one. Repeat ball. Well... Okay. So, that didn't quite, uh, give us anything special, but hey, you know... That's kind of cool, you can get five items from, uh, from the four that you put in there. It's... Interesting mechanic that they incorporated. That said, I guess, uh, there's not too much else for us to do. Once again, I guess we're going to need to somehow get, like, another 2 million something, um, 2 million 80,000 or something watts. Not sure how we're supposed to even get anything close to that number of watts. Took me long enough just to get the first million. But, that being said, we managed to do it, so... The bed you went to buy as a family, it's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. Well, you know, it's always next time. So, I guess we'll try to get some more watts, so we can do some more, uh, some more stuff. Also, another cool thing. Turns out, that second Blissey we got actually has a, uh, actually has a uh, mark. So, gets the title Blissey the Sociable. I don't know, it's kind of funny. We happen to get that? I don't know. Seem lucky. That being said, I guess uh, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Sword. Goodbye!